What is up guys? Welcome to Love Shack Entertainment and today we are bringing you an opening video which is weird because we haven't done one in like two weeks uh, but I'm pretty excited because I managed to find some Duelist Pack Battle City and for those of you unfamiliar with the set we have opened it before. I got We did a uh, booster box opening of it a while back when the set first came out uh, as well as some loose packs so uh, you can check those videos on the description below. Uh, but the reason I'm pretty excited about this, this set has become increasingly hard to find with the uh, rise in price of Dragado, especially because of its practical uses in decks like Cosmo. Uh, so Dragado has quickly become the most expensive card in the set, and it has, as a result, I think just increased the overall value of the set, if not at least made it more difficult to find. So those of you unfamiliar with Dragado, that is this card here. And I believe, I don't know actually if we ever pulled any on camera, so I'm playing Arrow Mages, which we do have a deck profile for coming pretty soon, but I need a third Dragado to finish the deck, so I've been trying to pick up Battle City with the hopes that I'll be able to uh, pull the third Dragado that I need and finish the deck. So that's what we're going for here, but we got six packs, and hopefully we'll be able to get at least one foil. Uh, who knows, though? I honestly have no idea. So really quick, I'll just snag all these out of the blisters. Uh, and we will jump right into this opening. So the only thing about this set which kind of sucks is that some of the supers are not worth anything at all. Stuff like Lackluster Soldier, Dark Magician, etc. Uh, and they seem to be way easier to pull than stuff like Dragado and even, uh, Dark Magician Girl to a lesser extent. So the hope is that we can get at least something decent, maybe Anti-Magic Arrows or Wing Dragon of Ra. But really looking for, uh, Dragado here and that's the hope that we'll be able to get that. So let's see, we're starting off pretty solid with Jinzo. And no foil there, so Enemy Controller, Malevolent Catastrophe, Archfiend of Gilfer, and the Flute of Summoning Dragon. And I actually found these packs at a 5 below, uh, which is weird because I usually don't keep up with stuff. So it was kind of interesting to see they had it there, but Embodiment of Apophis, Harvey Lady Sisters, Elegant Egotist, King's Knight, Gear Fried the Iron Knight. Uh, but I'm still I'm still on the, uh, the quest to pull the Dragon L rather than... Um, Rather than have to spend the money to buy one. So, well, that ain't going to be the most practical strategy, but let's see. Buster Blader. Nice! Awesome! All right. Pretty sweet. So, that works. <laughs> uh, there's the third Dragado that I needed to finish uh, Arrow Mages, and obviously the best value pull that you can get out of here. Uh, Blast Spear Tune Gemini Elf Lord of D. So, awesome. Uh, that's basically what we're looking for. I can't complain, but maybe we get three packs left. Who knows? Maybe we get something else that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, Anti-magic arrows, etc. Things like that. So another Jinzo, of course. And nice. Ultra rare multiple destruction. So this is another card that has potential definitely to be a value card someday. So pretty sweet there. Toon Dark Magician Girl, Curse of the Mass Beast, and Rocket Warrior. So we'll sleeve up that multiple destruction as well. Those right there. And the other Dragado that I pulled actually was out of a blister as well. So maybe it's maybe it's a little bit easier to get there uh, than in boxes, I'm not sure. Pack number five, and I, like I said, it's a really cool set, but unfortunately some of the foils do suck, so. Lava Golem, Legion, the Feet Jester, there's the other super rare, although this one's not nearly as good as Dragado is. Um, but it's still pretty cool, and who knows, it could be useful someday, I suppose. Time Wizard, Magical Stone Excavation, and Insect Queen. So, there's Legion, the Fiend Jester, so we say, uh, always a neat card, there. pretty cool. And we got one pack left, so I would certainly consider this a success. Uh, but maybe we get another Dragado, who knows? Not that I expect that to be the case, but you never know. Nice, Crush Card Virus, not too shabby. And, alright, so common, but I can't complain, that's alright. Uh, Enemy Controller, Malevolent Catastrophe, Archfiend of Gilfer, and the Flute of Summoning Dragon. So, out of six packs, we got three foils, including the awesome, obviously, Dragado and Multiple Destruction. So, no complaints here, pretty cool opening, and probably the best you can hope to do out of here. Which is good, because these were the last packs that they had, and I'm having trouble finding them anywhere else. So... With that being said, that's the end of this opening, and I do implore you guys, if you want to check it out, uh, Benny actually just recently launched his own show called Love Shack Replay, in which he's going to be doing some gameplay videos and stuff and doing his own commentary on it. Uh, a little bit different from Versus in the sense that he's going to take you through, show you the deck, show you, excuse me, a game or two that he played, uh, and so it looks like it's going to be really cool, and I'm hopeful that it'll work because he's obviously hilarious and it's awesome to watch, so... Definitely worth checking that out if you guys want to. I'll toss a link down in the description below for that Love Shack replay. And we actually have a Love Shack Versus coming up with a special guest. And we're going to do some special guest videos and stuff with some other Yu-Gi Tubers, other Yu-Gi-Oh players, etc. So check that out as well. A bunch of stuff down in the description below that you can check out. Until next time, however, I will see you right here at Love Shack Entertainment.